Hi guys, so for this video I'm using one pound Karen yarn, it's in size 4 medium and the crochet hook that I'm using is in size uh, 5 millimeters. So I'll start by making a magic loop. And then I will chain three. Now right there to that loop I will make 11 double crochets. Well technically we have 12, but this three chain space already counts as one double crochet, so we'll make 12 in total. I'm just going to pull on this short tail and close this loop. Now right there to the third chain I'll make a slip stitch. So this completes row one. So now for row two I'll chain three. Then right there to the same chain I'll make one double crochet. Now I'll chain one, and again through the same chain I'll make two double crochet cluster. Now I'll chain one, and in the next chain I'll make one double crochet. Chain one. Then in the next chain I'll make two double crochet cluster. Chain one, then through the same chain I'll make two double crochet cluster. Chain one, then in the next chain I'll make one double crochet. Chain one, then in the next chain I'll make two double crochet cluster. Chain one, then through the same chain I'll make two double crochet cluster. Chain one, then in the next chain I'll make one double crochet. Chain one, then in the next chain I'll make two double crochet cluster. Chain one. Then through the same chain I'll make two double crochet cluster. Chain one, then in the next chain I'll make one double crochet. Chain one, then in the next chain I'll make two double crochet cluster. Chain one, then through the same chain I'll make two double crochet cluster. Chain one, then in the next chain I'll make one double crochet. Chain one, then in the next chain I'll make two double crochet cluster. Chain one, then through the same chain I'll make two double crochet cluster. Chain one, then in the next chain I'll make one double crochet. Chain one, then right there to that third chain I'll make a slip stitch. So this completes row two. So this completes row two. Now for row three, right there to that next chain I'll make a slip stitch. Then right there to that loop I'll make a slip stitch. Now I'll chain three and right there to that same loop I'll make one double crochet. Chain 
one, and then right there to that same loop, I'll make two double crochet cluster. Now I'll chain one, then right there through this next one chain loop, I'll make two double crochet cluster. Chain one, then right there to that next loop, I'll make one double crochet. Chain one, right there to this next double crochet chain, I'll make two double crochet cluster. Chain one, then through the same chain, I'll make two double crochet cluster. Chain one, then right there through that one chain loop, I'll make one double crochet. And now, I will chain one, then right there through this next one chain loop, I'll make two double crochet cluster. Chain one, now through the same loop, I'll make two double crochet cluster. I'll chain one, then through this next one chain loop, I'll make one double crochet. Chain one, through this next double crochet chain, I'll make two double crochet cluster. Chain one, then through the same loop, I'll make two double crochet cluster. Chain one, then right there through this next chain, I'll make one double crochet. Chain one, then right here through this next one chain loop, I'll make two double crochet cluster. Chain one, then through the same loop, I'll make two double crochet cluster. Chain one, then through this next one chain loop, I'll make one double crochet. So we repeat this throughout row three. So now to finish off row three, I'll just chain one, then right there to the third chain, I'll make a slip stitch. Now for row four, in this next chain, I'll make a slip stitch. In this next one chain loop, I'll make a slip stitch. Then I'll chain four. Then right there to this next double crochet chain, see so we'll skip this first one chain loop and then right there to this next double crochet chain that we have made separately right through that chain I'll make two double crochet cluster chain one then through that same chain I'll make two double crochet cluster chain one then I'll skip this next one chain loop and then right here where we have made this double crochet cluster, like where we have made these two sets of double crochet clusters, right there to that one chain loop, I'll make one double crochet. Chain one, then through this next double crochet chain, see? The one that we have made separately, right through that chain I'll make two double crochet clusters. Chain one, then through the same chain, I'll make two double crochet cluster. Chain one, and then right there where we have these two double crochet cluster sets, right there through that one chain loop, I'll make one double crochet. Chain one, then through this next double crochet chain, I'll make two double crochet cluster. Chain one, then through that same chain, I'll make two double crochet cluster. Chain one, then right here, through this one chain loop where we have made these two sets of double crochet clusters, right through that loop, I'll make one double crochet. 
So we repeat this throughout row 4. Now to finish off row 4, I will chain 1, then right there to that third chain I'll make a slip stitch. Now for row 5, I'll chain 3, then right there to that same chain I'll make 1 double crochet. Now I'll chain 1, then right there to the same chain I'll make 2 double crochet cluster. Now I'll chain 1, then right here through this 1 chain loop where we have made this double crochet cluster in the previous row, I'll make 1 double crochet, chain 1, in the next double crochet chain I'll make 2 double crochet cluster, chain 1, then through the same chain I'll make 2 double crochet cluster. chain 1, now right there through the next one chain loop where we have made this double crochet cluster, right there I'll make one double crochet. Again chain 1, through this next double crochet chain I'll make two double crochet cluster, chain 1, then through the same chain I'll make two double crochet cluster. chain 1, and then right here through this next one chain space between these two double crochet clusters I'll make one double crochet. So we repeat this throughout row 5. Now to finish off row 5 I'll chain 1, then right there through the third chain I'll make a slip stitch. So this completes row 5. Now for row 6 in the next chain I'll make a slip stitch. Then right here through this one chain loop I'll make a slip stitch. Now I'll chain four. Then through the next double crochet chain I'll make two double crochet cluster. Chain one. In the same chain I'll make two double crochet cluster. Chain one. Then right here through this next one chain space where we have made these two double crochet clusters, right there through the chain I'll make one double crochet. So chain one, through this next double crochet chain I'll make two double crochet cluster. Chain one, through the same chain I'll make two double crochet cluster. Chain one, then right there through this next one chain space, see where we have made these two double crochet clusters, right there through that one chain space I'll make one double crochet. In the next double crochet chain I'll make two double crochet clusters. Chain one, then through the same chain I'll make two double crochet cluster. Chain one, then through this next chain where we have made these two double crochet clusters, Right there through the chain I'll make one double crochet. So we repeat this throughout row 6. Now to finish up row 6 I'll just chain 1, then right there through that third chain I'll make a slip stitch. So this completes row 6. Now for row 7 I will chain 3. Then through the same chain I'll make one double crochet. Now I'll chain one, then right there through the same chain I'll make two double crochet cluster. Chain one, and then through the next chain where we have made these two double crochet clusters, I'll make one double crochet. Chain one, through this next double crochet chain, I'll make two double crochet clusters. Chain 1, then through the same chain I'll make two double crochet clusters. Chain 1, then through this next one chain space where we have made these two double crochet cluster sets, I'll make one double crochet. 
Through this next double crochet chain, I'll make two double crochet cluster. Chain one, then through the same chain, I'll make two double crochet cluster. Now, chain one, then through this next double crochet chain, one chain loop where we have made these two sets of double crochet clusters, I'll make one double crochet. So we repeat this throughout row seven. After we stop increasing, it's just like a two row repeat pattern. So yeah, we repeat this throughout row seven. So now to finish off row seven, I will just chain one. Then right there through the third chain, I'll make a slip stitch. Okay, so now for row eight, we repeat row six. So in the next chain, I'll make a slip stitch. Through this one chain loop, I'll make a slip stitch, chain three, then I'll chain four, then right there through the next double crochet chain, I'll make two double crochet cluster. Chain one, through the same chain, I'll make two double crochet cluster. chain one, then through this next one chain loop, right here between these two double crochet clusters, I'll make one double crochet, chain one, then right there to the next double crochet chain, I'll make two double crochet cluster, chain one, then through the same chain, I'll make two double crochet cluster. chain one, then right there to that one chain loop, I'll make one double crochet. Chain one, then through the next double crochet chain, I'll make two double crochet cluster. Chain one, then through the same chain, I'll make two double crochet cluster. Chain one, then through this next one chain loop right here where we have made these two double crochet clusters. Right there in the middle through that one chain loop, I'll make one double crochet. So we repeat this throughout row eight. So now to finish off row eight, right here through this uh, third chain, I will make a slip stitch. Okay, so this completes row 8. Now we repeat rows 7 and 8 until we have 14 rows in total. So as I told you guys earlier, this is a two row repeat pattern. So we repeat rows 7 and 8. So we repeat rows 7 and 8 until we have 14 rows in total. So now that we have reached the end of row 14, I'll chain one, then right there through that third chain, I'll make a slip stitch. So this completes row 14. Now for the last row, I'll chain one, then right there through the same chain, I'll make one single crochet. Through the next chain, one single crochet. Through this next double crochet cluster, one single crochet. Right here through this one chain loop, one single crochet. Through this next double crochet cluster chain, one single crochet. Through this next one chain loop, one single crochet. Through this one chain loop, one single crochet. Through this double crochet chain, one single crochet. Through the next one chain loop, one single crochet. Through this next double crochet chain, through this next double crochet cluster chain, one single crochet. Through this one chain loop, one single crochet. Through this next double crochet cluster chain, one single crochet. Through this next one chain loop, one single crochet. Through this next double crochet chain, one single crochet. Through this next one chain loop, one single crochet. Through the next double crochet cluster chain, one single crochet. Through the next one chain loop, one single crochet. Through the next double crochet cluster chain, one single crochet. And right here through this one chain loop, one single crochet. 
So we repeat this throughout this last row, and this is row 15. So now, to finish off this last row, right here through his next chain, I will make a slip stitch. Chain 1. Now we just weave these ends in. So this is how the finish that looks. It's um, eight and a half inches long and nine and a half inches wide. So you can just uh, wear it like this, or if you want, you can just roll it a little bit, just like this. When you put it on your head, it will look better. But I really like the pattern. So that is all for today guys, thank you so much for watching.